What up, everybody? This is Jayton Gunter, owner of Grapes and Sand Publishing and author of Fruit and Glass and also Wine's Cliff Notes. As you can see, there's wine in my glass. I'll be doing a review. Um, spoiler alert, I've tried to do this three times and the video has acted up, so hopefully this will work. <laughs> anyway, it's been one of those type of days. So, welcome to another episode of Wine Wednesday. I appreciate you guys rocking with me, the people who've been rocking with me forever. And also the brand new people. Um, whether this is the first or last time you, you uh, check in with my channel, I appreciate you too. Uh, so we're going to get into wine, but before I do, I want to let you know that my book, Fruit and Glass, is still uh, available for sale. Um, you just go to the link in my bio if you're in Instagram. And then if you are in other, like Facebook or LinkedIn or anything like that, uh, more than likely they'll have the link in, the, um, in all the stuff that I write when I post something. If not, just message me and I'll send you the link and you can buy my book. It's $15. It's perfectly for it's perfect for people who have been um, trying to get into the wine industry and want to understand a little bit more. And then also people who are already in the industry and just want to kind of sharpen their toolkit with wine. Um, it's a lot of passion, a lot of uh, things that I love about wine that is in there. And also some of the stuff that uh, I need to dispel about the wine industry. So that's all in there. But also... Um, I probably shouldn't drop this yet, but I am dropping a um, poetry book probably by the end of next week. That's the goal, and it is a uh, it's Voice of Truth. It is the one that I did a, a long time ago, but I have totally recalibrated it, tightened it up, and made it more uh, for what's going on right now. Because a lot of the stuff in the book was already geared towards that, so actually you could have just transported it from then and put it into now. Um, but I just wanted to like you know fix up some diction and you know, uh, change some stuff around to make sure it was a little tighter. Um, so I hope, I hope you guys check that out. I'm going to, I haven't, I'm not going to post it yet because I am looking to do pre-sales for it. And so you guys will know all about that when I'm ready to post it, but it, hopefully I'm trying to do it by the end of next week or the week after. So anyway, you're here for the wine. So let's get into the wine. We are in a place that is one of my favorite places in the world for wine period. Uh, whether you're in Italy, France, this is Spain. So we're in Spain and we are... Uh, at, in Priora, and we have the Godis uh, 2016. This is 50% Grenache, 50% Carignan. Um, I love Priora for the simple fact that when I taste anything, whether no matter what grape it is, it definitely reflects the terroir, definitely reflects the soil that it's coming from. The soil, there's other types of soil in Priora, but the, one, the main ones that I've, I've noticed have been um, more volcanic soil and slate type of soil, but there is a lot of other stuff out there going, not a lot of stuff, but there's other like uh, soil com com compositions over there too, so let's get right into this, because again, pre is one of my favorite places. On the nose, so I get strawberry, I get blackberry, and I also get this dusty cranberry thing going on, so more red, red fruit going on here, but some blackberry, some black fruit too. There's also something herbal, kind of menthol-y, eucalyptus type of thing jumping out. Something minty. As maybe like a secondary. There's also like uh, some smoke and also a little bit of a, a tree bark thing going on too. Wet tree bark. Also some, a little bit of like a black licorice like thing too. That's interesting. That's popping up as a secondary uh aroma and maybe even a, a little bit of a like a, a a little bit of a coffee grounds too let's get in the palette see if everything is translated from the nose to the palate Okay, so let's talk about the structure first. This has medium plus acid, which makes me already say that it's going to be good to drink by itself or pair with food. Tannins are there, but they're not overwhelming at all. They're, but the thing is, this has grip. The thing I love about uh, pre rot too is when you're doing Grenache or Garnache, as they call it in Spain, it's different from other gran uh, Grenache all over the world. Like Grenache is, can be delicate or soft sometimes with the acid. Um, this Spain tends to get it a little different. It's a little bit more raw. It's a little bit more um, chest out, muscular, uh, grippy type of uh, Grenache, and I dig it because of that. 
Um, this definitely has that in spades. The I'm getting also from Carignan. I tend to get this dusty cranberry, and that's definitely here too. Very well balanced wine. So let's talk about the fruit now, because I talked about the structure. It approaches with fruit, but it ends up very, very dry. It kind of streamlines as it goes down your palate. It ends dry. The herbs that I was talking about, and that kind of like, um, kind of like wet bark thing kicks in in the second quarter and extends to the finish with a little bit of like a stimminess and a menthol thing that kicks in on the finish too. Very long finish here. Very well balanced. I recommend this wine. Definitely if you can get your hands on it. Again, this is the Godus 2016. If you can see that. At a Priorat. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. And happy Wine Wednesday to you guys. Till next time. Cheers.